Okay, so we're going to have a look at uh, generating prime numbers with a given number of bits and look at the security that we have on that. Okay, so why prime numbers? Well, in public key uh, cryptography, we typically use uh, prime numbers in our operations. So the two main methods that we have are RSA and elliptic curve. And in both, uh, we do our calculations with respect to a mod P operation. So mod P is the remainder left after a division by P. So P could be a prime number or it could be prime numbers multiplied together. So prime number, of course, is a, is a value that cannot be uh, divided by any other value apart from itself and one. So why do we use prime numbers? Well, the good thing with about prime numbers is that we can still perform our mathematical operations by performing a mod p. So that is the same as that. So if we take a mod p times b mod p, it's the same of a times b times mod p. So all of our the operations that we actually have can can still be replicated, but we have what's called a finite field, and that the values that we create range between uh, zero and p minus one. Okay, so that constrains the values that we actually have. Okay, so with RSA, we, we pick prime numbers, and a typical size is 1024 bit. Or 2048 bit. And these are generated from two prime numbers uh, so for 1024-bit, we generate from two 512-bit prime numbers. With elliptic curve, we have smaller values and an equivalent security for 1024-bit RSA is about 160-bit uh, elliptic curve. So the prime number we select here is only 160 bits long or 256 bits in the case of uh, Bitcoin and blockchain. Okay, so we select uh, our prime number size depending on the security that we need. Uh, for RSA, we typically start at 2048 because there are risks around 1024-bit uh, uh, values. Okay, so uh, I'll explain RSA in a minute. With elliptic curve, we have a curve that looks a bit like this. And all the mob operations are done mod P. So we select a prime number with a certain size to make sure that it's uh, difficult to determine uh, our keys. So let's look at the RSA method. So we take a message with RSA and we raise it to the power of an exponent E. Then we take mod N. This gives us our cipher. To get the message back, we take the cipher and raise it to the power of D, which is our decryption key, mod again of N. So the N part is important uh, for us because that is our modulus. So the encryption key that we have is E comma N and the decryption key is D comma N. 
these are the two keys that we have. So how do we compute E and N? So we start off with two prime numbers, P and Q. We multiply them together to get N, which is our modulus. The difficulty here is to be able to factorise back P and Q given N. We then come up with an E value, or our exponent, and we typically have that as a fixed value. And that fixed value is typically 6, 5, 5, 3, 7. So that becomes our E there. And then our N value is this value here. So the key that we have is E comma N, or the exponent in the modulus. To calculate uh, D, we take phi, and phi is P minus 1 times Q minus 1. We then compute what's called the inverse mod of E, or D times E mod phi is equal to 1. And I'll show you how that works with the Python code in a little minute. But basically, we take the inverse of E mod phi, and then that determines D. But the core strength is to do with the size of these prime numbers. When we take that, we create a, a modulus with a certain size. The larger that we have, then the, the stronger the RSA method will be. Okay, so let's look at some code which I could implement this. So in this case, we're taking a certain uh, bit size. In this case, 100 bits. We'll then generate a, pr a random prime number with that size for P and Q. After this, we'll calculate N and display it. Next, phi, if it's RSA. We'll take the E value, then we'll inverse that mod phi to get our decryption key, and we'll display the uh, number of uh, decimal digits that uh, these values have. Okay, so this is RSA uh, 768. So in this case, we have uh, 384 bit prime numbers to make a prime number with 768 bits. Here's phi here, p minus 1 times q minus 1, that's the standard value of e. Then we take the inverse of e mod phi to give the decryption key, and we can see here we have 232 uh, characters, uh, decimal digits, in the value of uh, n. 1024, obviously it's getting bigger now for our prime numbers, larger value of n. Now we have 309 uh, decimal characters in n. And this is 2048-bit RSA, so we have two prime numbers, which are 1024 bits long. There's our n value, there's our phi value, and you can see the decryption key is quite large. We get 617 uh, characters for that one. Okay, so you should be able to try this out. There's 160 bit. You can see the size of the prime numbers there. But if we go up to 1024, the prime numbers become uh, fairly large. Okay, so we'll often see RSA 2048 on digital certificates. So that's normally the default that we have. And we can see here for Twitter that uh, the modulus on the RSA key is 2048 bits long. Okay, so that's been an introduction to prime numbers with N bits.